I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I call this one Charleston Sprints because I'm going to force myself to make quick decisions during the Charleston. You might ask, well, why would you want to do that? There are several reasons. One may be that you are maybe a um, beginner or intermediate player and you're going to be playing with more experienced players. You can train yourself to make quicker decisions so everybody at that table is a little more comfortable. Another reason is if you are going to play in a tournament and you want to prepare yourself to make quick decisions because you're playing on a timer at a tournament. Another reason is because it's fun. It's just flat out fun. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. My goal as an advanced player is to do two minute sprints as an average. If you're intermediate, try under three minutes. And if you're a beginner, try under four minutes and then push yourself to the lower thresholds as you're comfortable with making quicker decisions. Let's roll the dice to see what seat we're in. I rolled a four. So that is going to place us in player four seat. That's non-dealer. So I'm gonna get 13 tiles and then create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Okay, for this one, I do see some news potential and we do have some year tiles. Maybe we could try a year hand. Let's discard these three. That's a little risky with 369 in there together. There's a two and a white dragon. All right, let's stick with these here. Maybe we could switch to like numbers. Let's discard these and stick with BAMs for the year. There's a five, six, six. Let's pass these three. There's a red dragon and an eight BAM. Two, zero, one, eight news. Let's pass these three. This is a little risky, but we have, oh wait, we can give up that one crack. That's better. There we go, right there. There's a north and a two. We really don't need that because we have a north already. There's an east, we've got our news, and we have tiles we can pass. We got a flower, I would keep it. I would not pass a flower, so I would say I want two. So as not to pass like numbers. So lap. We have three discard or four discards, or really five with the flower, but we have no gaps. News with 2018. We just need to fill in. We need our pairs here and then pungs here. This is a little heavy. I, I try to get to four discards but I think that wasn't too bad. No gaps. I'll take no gaps. forgot to roll. So we're in 11. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. That's going to be seat 3. 
so non-dealer. No multiples, but we do have a couple of jokers. So this is when you want to look at patterns, overall patterns. What do you have the most of? We do have three, six, nine potential. One, two, or one, two, three, four. We also have three, four, three, four, three, four, five, six. I think that's the strongest. Three, four, five, six consecutive run or like numbers with fours or threes with these dragons. There's a two, two, three, four, five. Here's a three, east, six, two, three. We have three threes. Let's give up the five. Maybe we could do like numbers with threes. There's a flower, keep that. And now we have our first multiple. Reassess, build around that. Keep the flower, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, fours with like numbers. Let's stop there because we have a pass. There's a four and a three, wrong three. We have tiles we can pass. Three, four, three, four, concealed pungs, last hand under consecutive run, I think is a really good choice. Let's discard those. No keepers. Keeper. No gaps. We're getting close. I would risk passing that white dragon. No keepers. I would risk passing like numbers in the optional cross because we are really close to this hand. Okay. We have three discards. We can use these in here. So we have a flower, three, four, three, four. Concealed pung hand under consecutive run. That's building around multiples. We paired up with the four, paired up a three and another four. We could always switch maybe to like numbers with fours and use this as joker bait. I would discard these first in this order. Hold the dragon because if we do like numbers with fours concealed, we might be able to use that for the dragon hand. I don't think that was too bad. Three discards for a concealed hand. Okay, we'll do this one more time. I rolled a seven. That's going to be Player three, one, three, five, seven. Okay, multiples four, six. We could do four, five, six, seven consecutive run or two, four, six, eight. We don't really need the north. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Okay, we got a red dragon. I don't like passing dragons if I don't have to. I wonder if we could play a quint, actually. One, three, four, six, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of these. There's five. One, three. Let's get rid of the eight and focus on three, four, five, six. Second hand down under consecutive run. There's a flower. One, two. Let's give up on the east. Okay, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, there's a dragon. Okay, let's give up the two, three, and a dragon. Okay, four, five, 
four, five, six, three, four, five, six. Let's give up a dragon. Three, four, three, four, five, six. Okay, so as not to pass like numbers, I'm going to pass a dragon. We've got no gaps. Okay, we got a three, six, nine north and a flower, five discards, but three, four, five, six, second hand down. Let's see another option with these tiles. Three, four, four, five, six, four, five, six white knitted. This would be the second hand from the bottom. I would hold the six. But I think I would focus on three, four, five, six, hold the six and the flower, discard these first. Five discards again, a lot of discards, but no gaps with the hands. So I think all those Charlestons were pretty good. Let's see about the timing though. When you do this exercise, the goal is to make quick decisions. So when you pick your threshold, Practice making quick decisions within the threshold, but keep your eye on your discards. If you make decisions with four discards and no gaps, that's a really strong start going into the pick and discard phase of the game. If you have five discards and no gaps, that's really good too. Better to have four or fewer, but five with no gaps is pretty good. Or even five with joker bait, that's not bad either. So keep your eye on all those variables as you learn to make better and better decisions building around the strength of your hand, which is usually multiples. Let's see how things went with the timing. Sprint one, one minute, 55 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes, 11 seconds. Sprint three, one minute, 56. So I was four minutes under for one, five minutes under for another. So that's nine minutes under total and then 11 minutes over. So as an average, I think I made it. Could be better though, especially with the discards. I might've been able to make some better decisions. If you would have done anything differently for those sprints, write sprint one, two, and three, and then what you would have done differently in the comment section below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.